Hello, everybody. It is Don with Out There Living, and this is another video update of the Pompano 3. This is a Schumacher build, and again, this is the um, Pompano 3 build. <clears throat> so, I wanted to do this intro to talk to you a little bit first about our thoughts on the house and Schumacher in general. Um, <clears throat> I also, before we get started, I want to apologize. I always say I'm going to do videos and then I never do videos. So sorry there. It's, it really is a chore. Well, not so much a chore, but I have to give credit to the people who do YouTube videos like every single day. I mean, hats off to you for doing that because, uh, it is, it is a, a job. Um, so, as a whole, I would say that we're pretty happy with the house. Um, there are some issues, of course, and this is where I'm going to say I don't really think um, that you'll be 100% satisfied with any builder that you choose to build your house, whether it's a, um, a track house, um, a modular house, um, or a custom built house. I don't think you're going to be a hundred percent satisfied there. There's always going to be things wrong. There's going to be things that you don't like. Are there things that we don't like about the way that the process was handled with this build? Absolutely. Um, are there things that we're not happy with at the end? Absolutely. Um, but again, like I said, I don't know. I, you know, we've built, um, a house. This is our first custom built house. Um, but we have built, um, have had homes built in the past with, um, uh, non custom homes. They're pretty much just, you know, you pick a plan and they build it the way that they build it. And of course there were things that we weren't happy with, with those either. Um, but we expected a little bit more with this being a custom home. Um, I do have to say that. So as a whole, um, there, there is some things. Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't want to get, get into detail. Um, maybe I'm not allowed to, when you sign papers and contracts and all those things, when you're building a house, you never know what you're signing. So I'm not going to go too crazy on, you know, you know, you know what I mean? Okay. I am going to say this to you. If you are um, interested in building a home, with a custom builder. Um, I know this sounds crazy, but I suggest that you do these things. Record on your phone, record every in-person conversation that you have with Schumacher or any other builder that you have. And I suggest doing this even from day one, when you sit down at the desk with the salesperson who's gonna go over the build process with you and design your house for you, just record it, record the conversation. When you have any interactions with Schumacher or your builder at all, record the conversation. I'm not meaning like record like this, just record the audio so you can play it back. Because if they say something and later on you tell them, hey, you said such and such, they can just deny it, okay? Um, did that happen? I'm not going to say it did or didn't, but you know, um, so I suggest that you record the conversations that you have, uh, when it comes to phone calls, I suggest that you, you don't have that many phone calls, do things through texting because you'll have a text record of the back and forth between your, um, builder. Also, the, you're going to have a manager that manages the project for you, kind of like your, um, con your main contractor that's actually employed with your builder. Um, that person makes sure that you text. Don't call and talk to them. Text back and forth. If you do talk to them on the phone about something specific, after you hang up, text them back about the things that you, you spoke about on the phone 
and get them to reply back with an answer of the, just as a clarification, say, you know, just so we're clear, these are the things. And then that way, again, you have a text record of what happened um, or what you talked about, okay? Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and walk through the house. Um, we are going to look at some of the things throughout the house that um, were actually upgrades. If you're looking to build this house, you pretty much know from the floor plans and things like that what comes standard. So I'm not gonna talk about the standard things. I'm gonna talk about the upgrades. These are the upgrades that I can remember. There may be more, but these are probably the big ones that I do remember. So hang tight and let's get, let's get going on that. Okay, for those that may not know, um, this house was actually built on 10 acres. We actually downsized um, our home. We actually had a bigger home where we used to live, pretty big. Um, it had a basement and everything. So sorry about that fish tank right there. That actually was a mishap yesterday. The tank broke and water went all over the place. 60 gallons of water, Oof, that was a mess. Okay, so 10 acres, we downsized and we moved out here to have more land. And okay, so the first obvious um, upgrade is the porch. Um, as you'll see, the porch extends all the way across and there's a rug hanging because that was soaked yesterday from the tank bursting as well. But okay, so the porch, that's the first biggest upgrade. The house, uh, the Pompano 3 is 62 feet across. So the porch is a full 62 feet all the way across. And that was an upgrade. Um, those ceiling fans uh, that are up there under the porch, um, those those are an upgrade as well. Uh, those, that upgrade um, actually wasn't done through the builder. During the building process, they actually have the electrician come out here and walk through everything with you. And we actually had to pay the electrician for that. Also, you may notice that there's um, Ford four, that's almost sounded like Ford. There's four porch lights and um, the other ones over here. There's four porch lights out here and that is an upgrade as well from the electrician. Um, the Pompano three comes with just one porch light. Okay, so that's, that's an upgrade uh, for the front of the house. Okay, so the next um, biggest upgrade, as you can see here, is the garage itself. Um, forgive the messiness. Things are still pretty much a, a little bit of an unorganized mess around here. We've been here for months, but yet, you know, things are still, still a mess. Um, you can also see um, up there on the roof, there's a um, chimney up there. So that, that's an upgrade that you'll see when we go inside. Um, the fireplace, obviously, is the wood-burning fireplace, that's an upgrade as well. Um, now, we actually bumped the, um, the wall out on the back side of the house uh, three feet. So like I said, the, the Pompano 3 is um, 62 feet across. So that added a three feet push out in the back of the house, added a lot of space to the house itself. So um, those are the, the upgrades for the, visually that you can see outside the front porch, the garage, you can see the chimney. Um, we didn't really do many. Oh, I forgot to mention, um, you probably saw it. I missed an upgrade. Uh, you probably saw it um, when you were looking at the front of the house. It's that um, board and bat and siding. Um, we only did that on the front of the house. You'll notice here, see the siding 
This is the board and batten siding. Um, and the windows themselves, um, we actually took out, um, I think it was one, one or two of the, um, slats. I don't know what you call those things in the windows so that they didn't have as many, um, lines in the windows, so to speak. Okay, so here we are um, inside. This is the front of the house. This is the living area, living room. You'll see there's the wood burning fireplace. We haven't actually burned any wood yet. It's summer, so it's hot. Um, and right there was where the fish tank was. That broke. Water went everywhere, as you can imagine. Um, now, the way we designed this um, home is interesting and and this is one thing i do like about schumacher um is that this floor plan in the pompano 3 is a rectangle and you can pretty much do a lot of customization with a rectangle so there's a lot of flexibility with this floor plan and with the three foot bump out in the back it added um a lot of space extra space for us to change things around. So this living room um, is a bit bigger. Um, we actually did move this wall where the fireplace is, we actually moved it out a little bit to make the master bedroom just a little bit bigger as well because we had the extra room. Over here where you see these, the fish tank stand and the chairs, because this, this floor plan for the Pompano 3 is a four bedroom home and we redesigned everything and made it a three bedroom home to make rooms bigger and open things up. Okay, here's a look at the kitchen and dining room. Now, like I said, forgive uh, me of some things that are out of order yet. Even after living here a few months, things are still out of place. Okay, so. Uh, let's see, the microwave over the range, that is an add-on. Uh, the kitchen sink, um, that's an add-on because it came with just a steel sink, that um, faucet there for the kitchen sink, I believe that was an uh, upgrade as well. I said add-on, upgrade, sorry, sink upgrade. Microwave upgrade. Um, I think that's, I think that's it. Oh, as far as the ceiling fans too, those don't come standard either. And we actually had to have the electrician put these in and they did cost extra. I believe with the electrical extras, it was around, I want to say $1,300 probably in those extras. Let me flip the light on here. Um, now, the Pompano 3 didn't have much of a pantry. Um, if at all, I can't remember. There may have been one, but it was quite small. So in our redesign, we redesigned this to have a larger pantry. So when we back out here, you can see um, it's a large walk-in pantry. Come in here and around the back. It's pretty cluttered, but still work in progress. Here's a quick shot of the laundry room. Um, there were no upgrades here. Obviously we had to get our own washer and dryer. We went with a stackable. Uh, we didn't change this room at all. It is the way it is in the plan. Um, I built this shelf here. So there's extra room in here. It's pretty small. There's not, not really much to it. Okay, now going into the master bedroom, um, there were no upgrades here. There's a ceiling fan. Um, 
it is larger because like I said, we did move the wall out into the living room a little bit to get more space in here. So it is um, a good size master bedroom. Um, we didn't make any changes in the closet, the master closet here. It is the size that it came. Not too bad. It's a decent size. I have to actually put my dresser in here. And turn this light off. Okay, and um, in the bathroom, this is where um, it's it's not a big bathroom. Um, the house we lived in before had a large bathroom and we really didn't need the space. Um, we redesigned this bathroom for sure. Um, I'm not sure what the original plan showed, but we ha we do have a, a closet in here. Um, we went with, uh, instead of a double sink, my wife wanted to have a, a seat here that she can do her makeup. And we went with a tile shower. Um, and then, so obviously that was an upgrade there. And then the tile to the ceiling was an additional upgrade on top of the shower upgrade. Okay, so coming down the hallway, we're headed to my daughter's bedroom and my son's bedroom. So let's go ahead and take a look in my son's bedroom and it is messy so please forgive that very messy even the bed's a mess uh, this is again this uh this was a change in the plan this room is pretty big he has a lot going on in here and we did change this closet too it's a it's a really big closet for him um he's 23 so he's not here much so um, my daughter's room is a little bigger and has a bigger closet, but this room's pretty big as well. We went with bigger rooms for them and we changed this up too so that there's a um, door that goes into um, a half bath for my son. So I'll show you that in just a second. Okay, so here's the half bath. It's just a small bathroom, good enough for my son when he's here. He's not here much. Like I said, here's the door that goes to his bedroom. And that's, that's the half bath. Okay, so now let's take a look at um, my daughter's bedroom here. This is a very, actually came out really big. She has a lot going on in here. Um, as you can see, how well this is focusing because it's kind of dark in here but there's a dresser in here as you can see there the door goes into the bathroom we'll go over that in a second you see she has a little refrigerator all this room here her bed drum set here she actually even has room she has a love seat in here big shelving unit the the room is very large um and then she has a walk-in closet. I'm not even gonna show you that because it's kind of messy, but the size of that walk-in closet is actually the same size as our master bedroom walk-in closet we made. We just matched up the size on that. Okay, and the bathroom. This is um, my daughter's bathroom, which is actually, I guess they consider this the main bathroom. The other one's the master bath in our bedroom and then the half bath uh, for my son's room. So this is the main bath. And it's actually a decent size. And as you can see, there's the door that goes to my daughter's bedroom. So she has access to this bathroom right from her bedroom. Okay, so I did forget, I did, so I did forget to mention the upgrade of the flooring. We went with the LV, uh, LVP, luxury vinyl plank, yeah, LVP um, throughout the entire house. So that was an upgrade. 
Now, I must say, with what happened yesterday with the fish tank, 60-gallon fish tank breaking, and water was everywhere. Um, as you can see, there's no water. Um, if it were carpet in here, oh, we, I don't know. It would just be a bad thing. Um, we, Since we had the LVP, we threw down towels and soaked everything up and... I was scooping water out of that tank as it was leaking out and it was it was bad but it was manageable. And I did forget to mention the upgrade on the cabinets. Um the white cabinets uh were an upgrade. I guess they in order to get white you have to upgrade. So yeah, that's an upgrade as well. That should do it uh for the video. I can't really think of any more upgrades um, at the moment. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you with your build. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel, um, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you liked the video, be sure to click that like button and comment below. If you're watching it, just click the like button. It sure helps the channel, uh, helps more people see this video. Again, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have yourself a blessed day.